it's just not bitter. You know, like the, the thing that most CBD oil is, this has replaced it with a nice sort of terpiness. Tell me what takes you higher. Welcome back to the I Smoke channel and another cannabis inspired video with me, your host, Tyler Green. Today, I'm gonna to be taking a look at this CBD oil offered by Encasa Botanics. It has a twist and I'm excited to share it with you right here on the I Smoke channel. Let's get into it. Big thanks to Encasa Botanics. They sent me over these products after getting in touch to tell me about their range. They work with growers out in Switzerland who produce some awesome CBD flowers for the Swiss market and for the European market. These particular oils have been extracted from the White Widow CBD hemp plant, which is a plant grown by this Swiss company and kept in its natural balances for the oil. So very different to how a lot of the oil ends up in the bottle before you. When you buy CBD oil from a lot of suppliers, it will be using various grades of hemp, sometimes industrial hemp, sometimes specific hemp strains, and sometimes other strains that have been grown for their high CBD content and low THC content also defined as hemp, but not listed in the EU's official definition of it. This is an oil which has been extracted from one strain, a named strain that this company are happy with. So rather than it being a cannabis oil just extracted from any old hemp, it has come from a specific source. And I believe you can taste it. We're gonna try that out and demonstrate a little bit later in the video. Lab tests are available on the Encasa Botanics website for the CBD oil, which is good. Always wanting to be seeing lab tests in 2020 when it comes to CBD products. Inside the box, we have this 15 ml bottle here. The regular size is probably the 10 ml bottle, but they have a 15 ml bottle available on site. And looking at the product in a bit more detail, the bottle's got a really cool look to it. First of all, they have opted for see-through transparent glass bottles, which enables you to see the color of the oil more clearly. It isn't as photo protective of some of the photosynthetic balances. So store it in a cool dark place, but it is good to be able to see the oil inside. The dropper itself, I really like this sort of wood effect that they've gone for. I really like like wood as a material and the dropper that they've gone for, they've got a white sort of rubberized lid and a wooden part to the lid as well. And then in here, you've got the glass dropper, which you can see. On the back of the bottle, it says full spectrum organic hemp extract infused with MCT oil, CBD 5%, 500 milligrams, THC 0.2% natural flavor from terpenes. Shake well before use food grade ethanol extraction, that's cool. Store in a cool dry place away from sunlight, can be refrigerated, use within one year of opening. Distributed by Encasa Botanics, a produce of Switzerland. I believe that this has been infused with MCT oil to bring it down to the legal classifications that you can have in CBD oil in the UK. The Swiss market actually has a THC limit of 1% THC. So potentially the White Widow CBD plant in its natural form is a little bit stronger than the 0.2% THC, probably verging up to the 1% THC mark. As a result, the resulting oil has been made the correct potency using MCT oil. This is actually common practice when it comes to CBD extractions because you are playing around with some strict legal sort of definitions and uh, percentages. So what often happens is it gets to a certain stage in the extraction process, they look at the end result and then they make that the correct potency for the market that it's being sold in. We're gonna go straight in and taste it because taste test is part of the review, right? So first of all, ooh, if you give it a smell, it has got a weedy smell to it. That doesn't smell like other CBD oil. Mm, it has got like a real unique aroma profile from the terpene balance that it has, which you can really smell. It's not got like a bitterness, instead it's got a sweetness, which 
comes through in the aroma. We're gonna see how it translates into the taste of the CBD oil. So I'm gonna put some under my tongue and then swirl it around in my mouth a bit to get the flavor. Do you know what? That has almost got hints of chocolate to the flavor to it. It is really terpy. You can taste the terps when you put it under. My guinea pig just tried to jump on top of his home, which he's never done before. <laughs> Fell off again. Um, it's really distracted me. You can really taste the terps. They are perceivable from when you put the oil in your mouth under your tongue. It sort of, sort of seeps along your tongue and you sort of start to get that sort of terpy aroma flavor even coming through. The flavor itself is sweet rather than bitter. It certainly is CBD and I, I get a kind of CBD taste that sort of comes through after with almost anything that I eat that's a CBD product. The CBD gummies that I tried last week on the channel are a good example of that. You sort of swallow them, eat them, everything tastes sugary and sweet, and then you get a bit of a CBD taste. So I can taste CBD, but I can also taste the White Widow CBD terpenes, and it is completely different to what you'd expect. As I mentioned, ever so slight sort of chocolatey hint to a terpy, weedy kind of flavor, right? Um, it's more weedy in the in the smell than the flavor, but the flavor is also weedy as well. So that's a cool thing when it comes to CBD oil. So 5%, that means there's 500 milligrams of cannabidiol in this bottle. This being the 15 mil bottle, it means that there are 750 milligrams of cannabidiol in this bottle. So if you just take that and, and work out your dosage from that, you'll probably end up using half a syringe or quarter of a syringe under your tongue once or twice a day, depending on requirements. So I like the CBD oil, especially for the flavor, which is nice and different to what I was expecting, terpy. They also sent me over some CBD isolate. Now this is not something that I've used for a number of years, but I just wanted to show you it on the channel in this video because Encasa Botanics CBD isolate has got this lovely, sort of crystalline look to it. It looks like sugar. It's very fluffy, it's very crystalline, pure cannabidiol. I've never actually tasted what that tastes like. It's pretty much got no flavor, pure cannabidiol. There's no smell to it. When it's this pure, it has lost all of its terpenes. It's lost all of the other minor cannabinoids any hints of THC that were in there, and all that remains is the cannabidiol. Really cool stuff. So that is their CBD isolate available on their website. In terms of price points, this is coming in at £29.99 for a bottle of 10 mil, or £43.99 for a bottle of 15 mil. And the isolate is coming in at £8 for half a gram, or £15 for the full gram of the CBD isolate. This is good for adding into your own edibles or products or anything that you want to infuse with CBD. That makes it a good product for those who are looking to make their own CBD products. Constructive criticism. I think that the box maybe could have a little bit more information on it, perhaps what is inside the bottle, but it does have a handy tag that says, see the inside bottle for ingredients. I really like the branding of the bottle itself, but as mentioned, it's not as protected, so keep it in a dark place out of direct sunlight, otherwise you will notice it sort of changing in consistency or color or appearance. I don't know exactly what it's gonna do, but you, you will notice something over a period of it being left in sunlight. And Casa Botanics are definitely a small boutique CBD brand on the UK market. They are working directly with a Swiss producer, which is really cool stuff. So it's different to what you'll see out there on the market for the most part. Uh, due to it being extracted from the White Widow CBD. I think that is super interesting. I'm gonna have some more. Yeah, it's got a nice kind of, um, it's a very complex terp profile that's just not bitter. You know, like the, the thing that most CBD oil is, this has replaced it with a nice sort of terpiness. So I like that. And overall, 
I like the Encasa Botanics products. Big up to those guys for sending it over. Remember, you can get them on the Encasa Botanics website. There'll be a link in the comments. And remember to use the code ISMOKE for 15% off if you want a nice little discount on the CBD sold by Encasa Botanics. Just got my laptop here to talk about the lab tests for this oil. Cannabinoid content, 5.153% CBD, 0.158% THC. 0.196% CBC and 0.033% CBDV, 0.081% CBG and 0.102% CBDA. So awesome to see the lab tests on the batch of White Widow CBD that went into this oil. So that's gonna be it from the Encasa Botanics CBD oil video review. Do leave your comments below. Let me know your thoughts as always. What I wanna know from you guys is what do you look for in CBD oil? What makes it stand out from the crowd when there are so many options out there? If you've enjoyed our content, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to help us grow. If you're already subscribed, hit that bell notification icon so that you will know when we upload videos. And if you want even more from my smoke, go over to our Patreon page where we have exclusive uploads, including live stream replays, magazines, and more for your enjoyment over on our Patreon page now. As always, thank you for watching, keep token, and I'll see you on the other side. <laughs>